If we're going to get to know the real numbers, we're going to need to know how to talk about sets. We'll use three types of notation to write sets of real numbers, as unions or intersections of intervals, as images or pre-images of functions, and in the most expressive way of all, in set builder notation, where we can use our words. Let's take a look at how all of these work. In set builder notation, we can use a descriptive sentence to define the elements of our set. For example, if we want all the rational numbers between 2 and 5, we can write is a rational number and between negative 2 and 5. Then we'll add a placeholder variable x, we'll quantify it by saying where do our x's live in the reals, and then we'll just add some braces and a vertical bar. We can refine it with more notation if we choose to do so. To understand a set written as an infinite union of intervals, try starting by diagramming the intervals, and then using your words. Remember that a union of sets contains elements that belong to at least one of the sets. And so this set consists of all the real numbers belonging to at least one of these open intervals. This often helps you to find a simpler expression for the set. Similarly, if we had an intersection instead of a union, the intersection would contain the elements belonging to every one of the listed intervals. Functions not only act on single points, they also act on sets in two different ways. Forward, where if a is a subset of the domain, then f of a is the subset of the range containing the values of f of x for all x in a. This is called the image of a under f. Also, backward. If a is a subset of the range of f, then f inverse of a is the subset of the domain containing all the points x for which f of x is in a. This is called the pre-image of a under f.